We're here at the JPSCW Game of the Week. I'm Corey Crow with B.J. Bell. B.J. Tigers look fired up, and here come the Bearcats. As you see, our captains making their way onto the field here as we get the evening started. Yeah, you kick it to anybody but those two guys. Either one of them is dangerous. It goes to Turpin as here it goes Turpin down the sideline, making three guys miss across the 50, and he's finally pushed out of bounds. Heck of a run there by Turpin, and the Tigers fired up after that. And here is a pass over to Emerson. Emerson's going to the house. He's at the five touchdown, Tigers. Great play for the Melbourne Tigers. A 28-yard reception as JT Jackson hits number two, Jaquarius Emerson, right on into the end zone for a touchdown. Here's the kick. It's up and going to be good. So seven points on the board, very nice. Here's first down as the Bearcats try to get something going, and they do. Quarterback keeper that time, and a slide out near the first down, but doesn't quite get it, is number four, Ben LeBlanc. We heard it a lot last year. Here is a handoff right up the middle, and Tiger defense shut that one down pretty quick. Fumble on the play as the quarterback going to be sacked for a big, big loss. He just didn't get a handle on the ball that time. Vantage health plan has the health plans you need. Here's another run by the Tigers as they went this time to was it, the That's number, number there was a DR set time. Josh DR wearing number three. Here's second down for the Tigers. Throw across the middle. Turpin wide open. He's going to the house. 20-10. He's in the end zone, no flags on the field. Touchdown, Tigers. Nice play, BJ. I tell you what, that, you have got to have some kind of safety help across the top with Turpin. That's the same play West Monroe got burned on the first play of the game last week. Swinging gate again, we'll see what happens this time. Tigers look like they're going for two. Ball snapped over the head, and the extra point will be no good. We are back as another kickoff by the Tigers, putting points on the board this time. They go to Wisner. Up the sideline he goes. Nice little return there for the Rustin Bearcats. See quarterback Ben LeBlanc back. Three backs with him. LeBlanc hands off, and the Tigers sniff that one out pretty quick. That time he went to Juwan Wright, the senior running back, and we'll see Wright a lot tonight. Here's third and 11 for for LeBlanc and the Bearcats. That one incomplete though, just under through Contavious Walker. Here's the punt coming up on fourth and 11 for the Bearcats. Here comes a lot of Tigers, but the punt gets out of there, out across the 50, bounces at the 40, and all the Tigers got away from it. How about going to the Fieldhouse Bar and Grill? That's exactly what I wanted to do, Corey. <laughs> I love the chicken strips over there, and Joey Trepe, and all the folks take good care of us at the Fieldhouse Bar and Grill. So after the game tonight or tomorrow, whenever, stop by and enjoy the good burgers and great food. Even got some good salads over there. Tigers still on their feet, turning nothing into something. Out across the 30 and finally pulled down. That's going to be number 44, Donald Jenkins. Down to 10 seconds on the play clock. Hands off his time to Emerson. Emerson still on his feet. He is still pulling guys with him before he's pulled down. Here's a play, handoff, and Tigers in for a touchdown. That's going to be number 41, Spencer Brooks. Yeah, that play clock down there is giving us fits. It went from 14 to 8, 4, 3, 2. Here's the kick. It is going to be no good. So the extra point, no good. Here's second down, second and 13. LeBlanc, his pass is, hits the man in the hands, but going to be stripped out of there. Have scored, 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 but they got six different guys who carried the ball tonight. There's a completion this time, goes out to number 15, Jordan Raggio, as the senior pulls that one in. Good job by Jordan. Well, it's still early. Raggio just made that great run. Now he has to punt the ball. He punts away the ball across the 50 and takes a tiger bounce. Back to the 45-yard line. See what the 
Tigers do with it this time. A handoff goes to number 44, Donald Jenkins. Jenkins makes a heck of a run. He's out near the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a little short. And a pass this time. It is complete by the Tigers. Good for first down and a whole lot more. That time, Neville goes to number 17, Fuller. Jackson handing off again. Again, he goes back to Jenkins. Jenkins He's on his still. feet. Ball popped out. Rustin had it. Ball pops out yet again. You know. And I don't know who's got it. We'll see what happens here. He just stripped the ball. He just took the ball from number 44, Donald Jenkins. Looks like Rustin still has the ball, according to the officials, for the Bearcats. Here's a handoff right up the middle. Picks up a few for the Bearcats. This is the time that Rustin needs to get something going. The momentum has swung their way with the turnover. He is somewhere close to 200. How about 222 yards in the first quarter for the Tigers? Here's a nice run by number eight, Etorium Mitchell. Here's a handoff by the Tigers. And a nice run this time as the Tigers go to DRs all the way out, but still going to be about three yards short. Say thanks to our friends at Vantage. Here's first down for the Tigers as a pass towards the end zone. Tigers air one out, and it's busted up, broken up that time. Intended receiver was number 17, Chris Fuller. And i tell you what, little 39 got down there, Jaquinton Kinsey, and he got himself in the right place. The stands, they are full tonight. Here's a play. Tigers taking a shot at the end zone to Turpin. Touchdown, Tigers. Wow. And flags before the play. Extra point to be attempted by uh, Barefoot. Charlie Barefoot, a great name for a kicker, by the way. It'll be offsides against Rustin. We're not going to see any of that crazy wing tee. They're just going to line up and run it straight at him, I believe, as the beef is in the lineup. This time a handoff and a nice play that time for two by number 41 of the Tigers, Spencer Brooks. Rustin still trying to get a first down on the board tonight. Don't have one, and we're into the second quarter. Here's a play, and I don't believe that the Bearcats picked it up as forward progress to be very close to the first down, but then uh, officials are going to say actually lost about a yard. So fourth down and two now. Wright had a good week last week. Here's a very high snap. Here comes a rush and a good job by the punter, number 15, Jordan Raggio, getting that ball out of there. That ball was nearly blocked, so excellent job by the Rustin punter. And the ball will be out down at the 24-yard line. This quarterback, J.T. Jackson, steps back. Got all the time in the world. Going to throw one down the field. He's got a man. It is complete. He goes to Chris Fuller. Wow. Tigers putting on a show tonight. Just went over 200 yards, and we're still in the second quarter. It's going to be a timeout coming up here very soon, I bet, because we're getting near that water break, but the Tigers still plowing away. Still in the first half of play, second quarter, but Neville, 27, Rustin, nothing. Here's another run by the Tigers, and going to be close to a touchdown, but not quite in there. Here's the play. Touchdown, Tigers. Set time go to number three, Josh Diars. For the half yard, DRs picks it up, touchdown, Neville. It's uh, early in the game, but 33-0 right now. Here's the extra point attempt by the Tigers. And that one is going to be no good as Barefoot misses. Quarterback Ben LeBlanc, the senior, trying to get something going here. Puts the ball on the ground, picks it up, hands it off this time to number 28. And that's going to be Juwan Wright, the other senior that's back in the offense. Nice run. Here's a pass this time, and hits his man right where he needs to. We got a flag late on the play, too, as, as uh, LeBlanc is, is kind of hammered. This time goes to Rachel. They want a flag over there for a late hit. I don't think they're going to get it. Good job with that little pickup. Here's another pass out to number 86. Caleb Witt, four minutes. 
Here's another pass. Good job that time out to number 15, Jordan Raggio. Big hit by number seven of the Tigers, Jaden Cole. Right now, Ben LeBlanc got a little run going. He's hit the last six passes, six straight. Here's another one. We'll see if he can make it seven. But here come the Tigers closing quick. That ball caught by Neville, but out of bounds. Steps back. Here's another pass, another completion. Good job that time by Rustin, but no real gain on the play. Uh, well. Officials have put the ball down a couple of yards ahead, but uh, went to Mitchell that time. Here's the play. They got the yardage. We'll see. Here's the run as the ball is complete out to Witt. Caleb Witt. So second and one. Here's the run by Rustin right into the heart of the Tigers. There's 11 guys on the field. For Neville, nine of them were in on the hit. <laughs> but it is a first down. Plenty of time for Rustin to salvage something out of this half. As a handoff goes around the left side and a nice run by the Bearcats. Here's a handoff and a run by Wright. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. But Rustin battling back after the penalty. Here's a pass, and it will be touchdown. Good job by that young man hanging on to the ball. Let's see, that was number two, Kentavious Walker, the senior. They got something going here going into the halftime. Here's the extra point. It is up, and it's going to be good. 27 seconds left in the first half. Our score, Neville 33, the Rustin Bearcats 7. Our score 33 to 7 as the Tigers make their way into halftime. BJ, if you're Coach Laird, what do you tell the Rustin Bearcats right now? Well, the scoreboard says 33 7, but you still got a whole nother half of football to play. And welcome back to the JPS CW Game of the Week. We're here in Ruston in the Blue Bayou Harley Davidson broadcast booth. And third quarter about to get underway as. The Tigers kicking off to the Bearcats. Oh, here's what Rustin needs. Look at this run. Nice run by the Bearcats. And got to be impressed by that one as Ladarius Wisner tend to go another low snap. Good job that time by the quarterback picking the ball up and flipping it out. That's going to be very near a first down. We'll see. Running the thing down. Here comes a rush from the Tigers. And a great job that time by number 41, Spencer Brooks. Towering over most of the guys on the field tonight. This time got a handoff, this time to Turpin. Turpin around the right. Turpin may go to the house. He's at the 20, 10. Touchdown, Tigers. That one's going to show up on Aaron's aces this week. That's a great play. Here's the extra point attempt by Barefoot. It's up, and it's good. Seven points just that quick. Here's LeBlanc this time, going to flip out to Wright. Wright is tackled right at the toe by number 10, T.J. LeMoy. Probably getting near that LHSA hydration break. We'll see here in a moment, but we're still underway. Oh, big Ooh. hit that time. Ball handed off to Emerson. And big number 91, Isaiah Bugs. We've been calling his name all night. Comes up with a big hit. Well, that's a good thing for Neville. The more reps, the better you get at it. Pass this time goes to number 13, Quentin Geis. Geis pulled down back behind the line of scrimmage by number 91. Right now he's doing everything for Rustin. Little screen pass and it is complete this time out to number 13 of the Tigers, Quentin Geis. He's still on his feet. Wow. And it's a vantage health plan first down, first. There's a run by the Tigers. I don't know if he got the first down or not. It's going to be getting off of that funny angle, so it's getting kind of hard for us to see. We're down low tonight, folks. At the field house, BJ, they're probably watching us right now. You know yeah, that? I think yeah, if I know it, Joey, I know they are watching us. Joey, send me some chicken strips over to Rustin. I need them right now. Here's another run by Neville. And somebody say something. It is a touchdown. Tigers. 
Here's a look at the replay. You don't give the ball to anybody with a number that starts with 90. That doesn't happen too often. Look at this, look at this extra effort right here. Just slings himself and got that <laughs> rusty guy, just pulls everybody into the end zone with him. Wow. They will decide to kick it, line up, that kick is up, and it's gonna be good. And yet yeah, they, they're calling it like the battle on the border. Okay. Here's a right with a run. Pulled down by a whole bunch of Tigers. That time number 41 in on the tackle. Uh, that was my job. That was your job. You yes. drove the tank. Yes. I'll tell you something in just a second. I never got to drive a tank. Gonna be next year and you're out the next. Here it is right here. The handoff goes to number 44. Donald Jenkins. Jenkins still on his feet. Made a whole bunch of guys miss. It's a flag down. Picks up the first down, but hold everything. You know, still a great season for the Tigers. Rusted hands off and Tigers swarm. They're still fighting for the ball back there. Fumble on the play, recovered by the Tigers. That time number 20, Terrence Sampson. 47 to seven. The Tigers look very impressive tonight. It was a battle tonight for, for Rustin to get some points on the board, 47 to seven. Want to say thanks uh, to Coach Laird, Coach Brad Laird. A big thank you to Coach Billy Laird. A thank you to Wayne Gentry and the crew, BJ Bell. I'm Corey Crow. Our final score, 47 to seven. Neville on top on the JPS CW Game of the Week.